So I'm here in Sheffield to interview I Kept the Wolves Away. How did it all start for you guys? Where did you meet? Well, I got a job. Um, it was just off Junction 28, about 10 minutes down, I think it was 8.38, I saw a sign saying uh, Basis Wanted. And they were for like, it was like a vegan grindcore band. And uh, one, one of the lads in the band, he were, um, he, I think he had a problem with his heart. And Dan came and he, he installed some medical equipment. But they couldn't transport it without a van, which was made by Matty's company. Um, so, basically, we were all in this room while we were playing this bass for this band, didn't really like it. And uh, we all ended up having a jam on stage and playing one of his own songs, weirdly enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been together as a band? Uh, yes. How long's a piece of string? Uh, two years long. Two years. <laughs> two two years. years long. Yeah, two yeah. years. Can we answer the question half semi serious now? No, no, no. <laughs> Do go on, Harry. <laughs> no worries. So, did you start off obviously gigging in Sheffield and then you've been further afield? Yeah. I, um, I mean, we, we definitely started in Sheffield because that's where we all met, according to your road atlas. Yeah, not not quite as not quite as far south as Tip Shelf, and not quite as north as Woolly Edge services. Lucky me, Barnsley, Sheffield. Yeah. So between Junction Thirty and Thirty Seven. Yeah, yeah. If you if you, if you were to categorise it, they're the junctions it'd be between. Um, you can't just you can't just put South Yorkshire, on, can you, as a as a label? But we did all start in Sheffield. Getting back to your original question, Ali, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cop. Um, so, where's the most iconic gig that you've played outside of Sheffield? Ooh. What would you say you've had the best I'll, I'll, reaction from? Um, Fibbers at York, maybe? Yeah. Which Have you it? got another one in mind that you'd like to yeah. share? Yeah, that you'd like to um, make up. <laughs> no, this is not made up. Um, and it's not. It, 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 it's, it's more iconic, um, more so than what, what other thing. Uh, Fibbers in York. No, not Fibbers, what Ariane said. Boston. Your most iconic gig? Outside of where you're from. Yeah, um, we played Leicester <coughs> and uh, we all made a big deal about it. The Shed? The Shed in Leicester and it's where Kasabian started so we thought humble beginnings um, the three <laughs> people watched us and they were out at one of bands. But it went down well. And they didn't like us. It was an iconic moment for us because it led us to believe that every other gig after Would that be better. <laughs> can't <laughs> be as bad as Leicester. We always compare it to Leicester. You're waiting for three people or more now. And yeah. Even promoter didn't have his back, and I thought the fucking cheek of that. <laughs> <laughs> and he dad turned up to everyone, so we all have to get to. Him, yeah, my right? dad comes to every gig. It's a but we can't person, count so. Steve. We can't count him That's as a person because he, he just. We can't count him. I count him as a male. He just sashes on in background. He just flutters about. Like At a, least he's there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My dad does not sashay. <laughs> he does sashay. He's very yeah. helpful. And his dad is a man helpful. and a person. He's a real person. And he wears band t-shirts, so it's definitely a fan. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody has to wear a band t-shirt. So Obviously you... fucking not. <laughs> 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 Who would you say are your biggest influences in your music writing? Um, I'd say uh, Cold War Kids, um, Early Kings of Leon. What about you guys? <laughs> fucking Don. Donny Osmond. Donny Osmond? Yeah, Crazy Horses. My dad once played it, fucking changed my life. Sandy Shaw. Kanye. <laughs> so that's what I like. So for grass. Yeah, the I just, <laughs> Wurzels. I just like Donny Osmond and Kanye West. Yeah. Pants People. Is that all you've listened to? Then? Yeah. Two where, songs on repeat. Where is it that you aspire to be as a band? <clears throat> you too. <laughs> 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 Um, just doing stuff like this on a night after work. <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's just, yeah, it's yeah. as good as it gets. Everyone yeah. else goes home and watches Chase and shit like that. Chase? Holly Oaks. Corey. Holly Oaks. Corey. And we yeah. do this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it gets yeah. us out for a bit. I think we'd probably be like to be playing uh, festivals maybe, wouldn't we? You know, like yeah, on a the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, on a serious, not the big ones, but if not, we'll take lesser. Leicester? I'm not doing Leicester no, again. We've been no, Leicester. Oh, Leicester. Leicester. Yeah. yeah, we'll take Leicester. 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 Drum lines and shit like that. 
stuff. It's nice to obviously play. I'm guessing, do you have quite a good following, obviously, in your hometown? Yeah. Has yeah. it well, progressed well, more? We played, uh, played a sold out gig in December. Uh, first the headline the, uh, our first headline hometown gig. Hometown. Sold out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Sheffield. <laughs> What date? 9th December. <laughs> <laughs> big style. Big style. Super happy uh, USA. Hey, I tell you what I had on today. Big Lily style getting jiggy with you. Oh, mate. I couldn't, I couldn't stop listening. Matt is a bit younger than us. We can remember that the first time round. But yeah, but. It's, it's just no, no, it's for throwback Thursday. No, it won't, it won't last Thursday. Matt, <laughs> no, it was throwback Thursday Spotify playlist. Oh, right. right, right. right. I can't 20 remember. year old this What's year. What's Spotify? <laughs> he can't, he can't, he can't, he can't, Social he can't media. remember Windows 98. And yeah. No, you want to go before that, Windows 95. Yeah. Dial-up yeah. connection. Can you remember Acorns? I can remember dial-up. Our school had Acorns. They were like early. Are you that kind of child that like, they brought out a computer to bring out at your assembly? No, I'm not Acorns. We were at school, we didn't get fucking iPads. I'm not blessed, mate. I had an IT class, though. We didn't even have that. No, we we had woodwork and that was one computer. computer. It could go on if you were good. Really? Yeah. Honestly? Yeah, and yeah. and it, it had green writing. How old are you? Very old. <laughs> it was like teletext. I'm remember old, teletext? Remember. You don't remember teletext? Yeah, you put, yeah, but God is on it sometimes. What well, college is on teletext? Well, college is on teletext, can't you? Yep, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, it was just for lottery numbers, teletext. Were it? Yeah. So, are you sort of like this all the time with each other? Yeah. Is this Unfortunately, it's degraded to this. What is the funniest story that you've got <coughs> to tell as a band? I reckon you should feel... Oh, yeah, this is you all over. Um, when we played Manchester... <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's no, there's nothing to do with drugs. Um, <laughs> we, we, ordered, we, we were all hungry and it was really early in the morning and... Uh, we, we, we just rang this random pizza place up. And <coughs> there were nowhere open. There were nowhere open. And this guy just Weird. turned up in middle of the street with these pizzas and said 40 quid. Gave him 40 quid, got these pizzas. And we went back to room, Bus Street. And, uh, oh, don't say what's next. Yeah, I'm going to say what's next. Um, we were just chilling out eating these pizzas. And me and Dan were like on slice one. And Slice one? If you think of a pizza like that. <laughs> Have you ever had a pizza? Right? I have. have you I'm ever addicted ever? to pizza. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, well, well, you'd love you'd this love one this. because it, it was like that. It had a it had a good bar on it. And <laughs> Were you stuffed crust? No, couldn't put it couldn't fold that way. No, I think what had happened is margarita had just folded into edges, uh, so it sent like one. It was sneaky. The impression it was sneaky, yeah. Right. Um, and what happened? We, me and Dan were on the first slice. Bear in mind, we'd all gone in the room at the same time. We were all equal. And we had his first slice, and we heard some snoring. We heard like a grunting noise. Looked at Matty, and he'd fucking devoured this pizza. He inhaled it, basically. How you do that with an 18-inch pizza? I, I don't know. Oh, it was best pizza I've ever had in my life. And uh, another funny thing is the two guys that came with us, Kel and Ryan. <laughs> one of them didn't fancy their pizza. They were in another room. And the other one got up and pissed in the middle of the night and fucking stood in it. <laughs> like, Did he get up in the morning and try and eat it? Like just like some massive footprint for extra cheese. I know, this don't, I know <laughs> this don't sound very rock and roll, but there's things you can't say. I think but it's probably not his best story. No, but it were like a cheese and tomato. <laughs> but then that comes on to the serious question, does pineapple belong on pizza? Always. Uh, oh. Uh, pineapple. oh. <laughs> Pineapples don't belong on earth full stop. What's up with you? Oh. I've never told you this, man. There's a lad at work, and he, uh, they're a food thief going around. Nobody's going to tell these. I'll tell that. They're, uh, they're a food thief going around, man. And someone put pineapple rings in the fridge, like a full tip. Yeah. Someone had opened it, nicked one pineapple ring and put it back. They didn't take the full fucking pineapple ring, they didn't take the full thing. We just nicked one pineapple ring and put it back. Like you could get away with that. Yeah. That's what I mean, you're opening tin at work. Matty, I can't believe you didn't tell me that story sooner. Honest to God. It's like when you used to nick your dad's cigs and pull all It's like when you used to nick your dad's cigs and pull all back one step front <laughs> to make it look like you still got 20. <laughs> you don't get 20 anymore though, do you? 17. Yeah, shit now. Do you? Oh, it depends what you're buying. Chesterfield. Chesterfield Menthols. 20s. 20s. What about Richmond? Nope. You can get... No! You no, can get 20. You're going to count your six now next time I you buy them. No, you can get 19. 19 <laughs> Richmond. You get 10 if you order 10. Just get two tens. If you order Fucking 10. Matty make it simple. If you buy 10s, do you get 10? No, you get 9 and a half. Not I, mean, I can't. I can't do this any longer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, going back, obviously, to what we're on about, if you could play any stage anywhere with anyone, who would it be? Well, the possibilities are endless, but uh, personally, I'd like uh, Glass Caves to get signed and have a big mega deal, and then perform just before them at like big festival or something, because that's uh, one band that's out at the moment that I really look up to, and they're eight nice lads as well. But it's so. nice that you're listening to these up and coming bands as well, oh, yeah. rather than you think of the big bands. But there are a lot of obviously up and coming bands around at the moment. Yeah. Well, the thing is with big bands, like you can say, like I'd love to go on stage before them and that. But um, being in a band, you've got to think about the like the before and after experience of being on stage and like what you'd be like backstage with them as well. And like we already get on well with them lads. And, you invited us to a reggae now, didn't we? Imagine if we played like, just before, like, flipping... Yo-to. Yo-to. <laughs> yo And, like, they were eight dickheads or whatever. Like, we've already had this experience with Johnny Burrell, haven't we? <laughs> and he were a dickhead. Um, so, I just think, like, Glass Caves, like, you, you can't go much wrong with them. I, I, no. I'd love to play with them. They have a great band. Yeah, awesome. And we like them, and they might not like us. <laughs> not, yeah, but they might like us a little bit. I might like us a little bit. Do you like us? <laughs> <laughs> they can Please. answer that when it goes on. Yeah. DM us. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Just be honest. No. <laughs> Short answer. No. But obviously, like, sort of concluding then, what have you got coming out this year? Is there anything in the pipelines? Anything that people need to look out for? Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, we're, we're doing a music video on Sunday, aren't we? Mm. Uh, for a song, uh, Walnut Dash. What are you laughing at? Because that's, that song ends about as serious as this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Walnut Dash is his next song that's going to be going online on the Yao Chow. Um, probably about mid-February. Depends how much we can be asked with editing a video. It depends how quick it's I DIY, so. Yeah, pretty much. So we've got a music video and EP, singles, EP festivals. and end of year is what we're building up to. Um, we'll festivals. A couple of singles in mid-year, I think, aren't we? Towards end of year with EP, I think. You know, we, we did one in December and that happened, so I think... Uh, Try we'll and get another one in uh, a couple. Festivals yeah. as provisional. Yeah. Yeah. we just got to get That's out there like, as much as you can. We're going to do shit like this, pretty much. Like what? Like it what? is the best interview I've ever done. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the only interview we've ever done. Yeah, when you're on the screen. Look at him. I just want to see these guys. Oh, don't. They're not uh, bad. They're not even bad. They're not even bad. Oh, for God's sake. You had to take it one further, didn't you? It, it's just all hair now. Got more hair than me. Flags by hair. Have you got a razor? I can get rid of it. No, I don't. Get rid of this bit. Bearing in mind anybody could walk through that door because we are just in a fucking lounge room in a pub. Just uh, you are. However, I kept the wolves away from Sheffield. Yes. Thank you very much no for your worries. time. No and we'll see you soon. See you later, Ariane. Bye.